Welcome to Easy Deploy YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to mount EFS file system to EC2 instance. What is covered in this video? We will be seeing what is Amazon EC2? What is EFS? How to mount EFS file system to EC2 instance? Use cases. Customer has a web application that is built on a load balanced environment. We wanted to store the logs of the application on a centralized location. So, we decided to use EFS for logging the application logs from all the load balance servers. Prerequisites AWS account AWS account with EFS full access Basic knowledge about EFS What is Amazon EC2? Amazon Web Services allows users to rent virtual servers, known as instances, on which they can run their own applications. Users can choose from various types of instances with different computing power, memory, and storage configurations to meet their specific requirements. EC2 instances can be used for a wide range of applications, including web hosting, data processing, application development, and running enterprise applications. EC2 offers features such as auto-scaling, which automatically adjusts the number of instances based on workload changes. What is EFS? Amazon EFS is a scalable and fully managed file storage service provided by Amazon Web Services. It is designed to provide scalable, shared file storage for use with Amazon EC2 instances, container-based applications, and on-premises servers. EFS allows multiple EC2 instances to access a shared file system concurrently, providing a common data source for applications and workloads that require shared access to files. EFS allows multiple EC2 instances to access a shared file system concurrently, providing a common data source for applications and workloads that require shared access to files. How to mount EFS file system to EC2 instance. We need two instances to check if the file sharing are working or not. Search for EC2. Click Launch Instance. Give instance a name. Here I am selecting instance type as T2 Micro, which is free tier, because we are just doing this for demo purpose. I already have a key pair, so I am selecting that. You can also create a key pair. Click Edit on Network Settings. If you already have a VPC, give that one, otherwise give default one. I already created a security group. I am selecting that security group. Otherwise, you can select Create Security Group and create a new security group as showed in the video. Click on Add Security Group Rule. In Type, select NFS. In Source Type, select Anywhere. This steps only applies while creating a security group. Click Launch Instance. Now our first instance is created. We should create second instance. Click Launch Instance. Type the instance name. Here I am selecting instance type as T2 Micro, which is free tier, because we are just doing this for demo purpose. I have already created a key pair, so I am selecting that one. You can create new key pair. Click Edit in Network Settings. If you already have a VPC, give that one, otherwise give default one. I already have a security group so that I am selecting that one. Otherwise, you can create a new security group as shown in the video. Add security group rule. Select NFS. In source type, select anywhere. This steps that is creating a security group only applies when you don't have a security group. Otherwise, you can select existing one. Click launch instance.
Now we have created two instances. Search for EFS. Click Create File System. Click on Customize. Give a name to file system. Leave everything default. Click Next. I am selecting the security group which I already created for three availability zone. In these security groups, I have opened NFS, which is 2049 port. Click Next. Click Next. Click Create. Now EFS is created. Go to the first instance. Click Connect. Now click Connect. Meanwhile, we can connect second instance. Select Connect. Click on Connect. Now our two instance servers are connected. We should switch to root user by typing sudo su command for both servers. Now we should install NFS on both servers by typing the upcoming commands. I have already installed NFS on both servers. Next, we should install Amazon EFS Utilities package by typing the upcoming command on both servers. I have already installed the packages. Create a folder. Go to the EFS. Click Attach. Copy the EFS mount helper. Paste here. We should give our folder name in the place of EFS and click Enter. Now we have successfully mounted. Now in first server, we should create in folder in the same name which we are given in second server. 
Paste the mount point. In the place of EFS, give your folder name. We have successfully mounted. Go to the second server. Go inside the ED folder. Create a file in ED folder. Using VI Editor, type some lines in new file and save it. Go to the first server. Type ls command. Go inside the ed folder. Type ls command. Here we can see there is file called new which we created in the second server. Open new on VI Editor. Here we can see the content which we given in the second server's file. Now we can create a folder in first server. Go to the second server. Type ls. Here we can see the folder which we created in first server. Refer the description for the commands which I used in this video. Conclusion. We have seen. What is Amazon EC2? What is EFS? How to mount EFS file system to EC2 instance? Do you have any questions? Please feel free to comment or contact us at our email ID or contact us page. We will be happy to reply you. Easy Deploy is an authorized AWS cloud consulting partner. We have helped various organizations in adopting their cloud journey by architecting, implementing, and managing their environment with AWS best practices.